Hello everyone. Welcome to MH Tutorial. Today we are going to learn the principles of the Barlow's wheel. Barlow's wheel rotates according to Fleming's left hand rule. As we know that electricity and magnetism are conjugate pair of each other. That means either one of them can create the other. The electricity can produce magnetic effects. A straight electric current carrying wire always produces circular magnetic field around it. The magnetism can create electric effects. When a magnet moves with respect to an electrical wire, it generates a temporary electric field in this wire. Meanwhile, electric and magnetic field together can generate mechanical energy. To demonstrate the Fleming's left hand rule, Barlow's wheel is the best option we have so far. So, first of all, we start with the formation of the Barlow's wheel. We have a thick wooden board. There should be a small cavity near the center of the board to hold mercury in it. A metal stand at the side of board to hold up the sawtooth metal wheel. The cavity is filled with mercury in such a way that one or two teeth of the wheel always remain in touch with the mercury. The two poles of an horseshoe magnet are kept either side of the cavity and the wheel as well. Two pinpoints are inserted on the board. We also need a battery. Two electric connections needed. One from the base of the stand and extended to a pin. And the other from the mercury filled cavity to the other pin. These two electric points are further connected to either pole of a battery. Note that, a close electric circuit has created. And a current can be flown through it. Thus Barlow's wheel is formed. What is Fleming's left hand rule? The Fleming's left hand rule states that if we spread our thumb, forefinger and the middle finger of the left hand to make each of them perpendicular to others in this way, then if the forefinger shows the direction of the magnetic field, the middle finger towards the electric field, then the thumb indicates the direction of the mechanical force that the electric conductor will experience. The Fleming's left hand rule can easily be demonstrated by using this Barlow's wheel. Let us bring a left hand. The magnetic field is aligned to the forefinger. And an electric current is flowing along the middle. Thus a mechanical force will come into effect. And will push the wheel tooth along the thumb. Let's take a close look. This mechanical force will make the wheel tooth move away from the mercury. Once a wheel tooth comes out of the mercury, a subsequent tooth enters there. And it also experiences the same effect. And moves. In this way the wheel continues rotating around. Let's see, if we change the polarity of the electric current, how the wheel rotation changes. The direction of the electric current reversed. So the left hand should be adjusted in such a manner. Compare the left hand and see how the wheel is rotating backward. Also, check out this. If the poles of the magnet are interchanged, the effect on the movement of the wheel. 
magnetic poles are interchanged by simply lifting and rotating the magnet. The left hand is adjusted to show proper directions of the magnetic field and the electric current. Thus, its thumb indicates which way the wheel is rotating. Hoping you enjoyed the video, it's time to say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe this channel to watch such videos in future. Thank you.